Malawi from the 21st to 25th November hosted the 75th Africa Water Sanitation Afwa Scientific and Technical Council STC meetings. Lilongwe Water Board hosted the Afwa STC meetings held at the magnificent Bingwe International Convention Center, BICC, in the capital Lilongwe. The meetings saw more than 120 delegates from at least 18 countries attending. These delegates came from Malawi, Ivory Coast, Togo, Mali, Cameroon, Senegal, Benin, Guinea, Kenya, Uganda, Burkina Faso, Niger, Congo, Nigeria, Angola, and Zambia. And on invitation from the AFWA Secretariat, water and sanitation experts from France, United Kingdom, the Netherlands, and the United States of America, USA, also joined the meetings. Some of the high power delegation arriving in the country for the meetings included President of AFWA, Mr. Ali Fasifiri, AFWA Executive Director, Sylvian Asher, and AFWA STC Second President, Dr. Rose Kagwa. As Malawi government's commitment to water and sanitation issues, the Minister of Agriculture, Irrigation and Water Development, Honorable George Chaponda MP, was the guest of honor during the opening ceremony of the meetings. Held under the theme Climate Change and Sustainable Water Supply, the meetings, among several issues, discussed updates on AFWA activities and the contribution of AFWA programs towards the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, as well as climate change and sustainable access to drinking water. The Malawian delegates also had their time to make presentations. On the sidelines of the meetings, some of the delegates also attended an AFWA ISO workshop on innovative technologies in the water industry while sponsoring partners who most of them work with water and sanitation service providers were also given a chance to showcase their services and products. The Lilongwe gathering also had a chance to make follow-ups on the issues raised during the 74th AFWA STC meetings held in Luanda, Angola in July 2016 under the theme Water Sanitation and Climate Change. These issues discussed through parallel sessions under four specialized committees included communication and knowledge sharing, support strategies to the training of young professionals, representation of women in the water and sanitation related sectors, non revenue and water quality, and the setting up of a task force to fight climate change. At the end of the meetings, the specialized committees drew up plans of action on these areas. While for the Women Network, the delegates came up with the Lilongwe Call for Action, which is a call for AFWA and all the players in the water and sanitation sector to fully bring women on board in their activities. The AFWA meetings also formally approved the establishment of an office for the young water professionals in Malawi. AFWA STC meetings are a gathering of a scientific and technical experts of the continental border with the aim of studying the problems related to the water and sanitation in the region. The 75th AFWA STC meetings came amidst the adverse effects of climate change that have resulted in water crisis in most African countries. This year, Malawi and the entire Sadiq region experienced one of the worst droughts, a situation which affected operations for most African water utility borders. It is against this background that speaking during the opening of the meetings, Dr. Jabonda said hosting the 75th AFWA STC meetings was timely for Malawi. One of the challenges that uh, Malawi is currently experiencing has been brought about as a result of the climate change. You agree with me that uh, during the last two years, 2015, 2016, uh, 2015, 2016, we, Malawi experienced the worst drought uh, because of this El Nino. And as a result, we had a situation where in the north, south, there was flooding in 2015, when in the north and center there were dry spells. In the north, 2016, there were flooding, when in the south and center there were dry spells. As a result, we had the worst drought. Our rivers reduced in terms of uh, volume. Uh, even our lake reduced in terms of volume. 
and also this affected our uh, water situation in the cities uh, in the long way itself here we had uh, rationing of the water and so on uh, you will also agree me, with me that as a result of this, of course, it also affects the, the sanitation and other challenges. And it is because of this, a conference like the one we are having now here, which is being hosted by the, uh, uh, the this is uh, the, uh, the 75th AFWA uh, meeting. It is uh, being hosted by Malawi. And I think we are looking forward to the deliberations which will be made because the people who are here is for, from all over Africa and the world at large. And they will be discussing issues on how to deal with the issues of the problems of water, uh, which are not um, unique to Malawi but they are also unique to the world at large. Uh, we know in the Sadiq region, for instance, they have also been experiencing the same challenges. This is also the time that uh, this uh, meeting, which is uh, of a technical and scientific regional group, uh, they will also be looking at some agreements which be, had been taken at SADC level relating to the water and they will also be looking at uh, those which have been taken at the United Nations level, the MDGs like the MDGs letting, uh, MDG 6 relating to water and sanitation which we say that by 2030 countries should move towards the realization of dealing with these issues they should be overcome and uh, I'm very confident that uh, a meeting of such a nature the people will come out with uh, some uh, good deliberations which will assist us in dealing with these issues. It was not by mere coincidence that Lilongwe Water Board hosted the meetings. The board has been one of the worst hit by the current drought. And the Lilongwe Water Board Chief Executive Director Engineer Afonso Chikuni, who is also President of Water Association of Malawi, Wasama, was all hoped that the meetings would bring lessons not only to the troubled Lilongwe Water Board, but to the entire local water sector. Lilongwe Water Board, we, uh, it comes from our uh, set of strategies. Uh, in our strategic plan, one of the pillars is uh, capacity development and building alliances. So we've been participating in uh, most of these uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, conferences. Uh, we had a team that uh, um, participated in a conference in uh, Angola, Rwanda, and uh, out of that, I mean, they have seen our interest as, um, as a board. So they interested us. Uh, they asked me if we could host uh, the 75th uh, uh, conference on STC uh, by AFWA. So, uh, that's the way we, um, uh, we were identified and that's how we would like to move uh, going forward that we should incorporate uh, research and development uh, uh, as we you know, deliver the service to the communities. Um, uh, this uh, problem, this challenge um, of water scarcity is uh, not only uh, for Malawi. Um, I mean, for the past two years and it, it is um, highly likely that it will continue for the next 15 years. Uh, we've seen that the water sources are dwindling. Uh, the most dramatic one me, uh, being in the southern part of Africa, but not only Africa. Uh, continents like Australia are even in uh, dire need of uh, this uh, uh, scarce commodity. What we've done as the Long Water Board, we entered into um, um, a water operators partnership with uh, Etequini in Deben. And uh, we've, in, in, in the course of our water management, after the, um, uh, we declared a water situation in Nilongwe, we've been working with um, Etequini uh, hand in hand to assist us to go through uh, the water crisis. And uh, because for them, um, the drought started uh, sometime back maybe two years ago, and they are more um, affluent in terms of how to handle uh, the water uh, crisis. So we've learned a lot from them. 
and we've learned a lot again from uh, the coalitions that we have established uh, with uh, uh, neighboring countries for now. The organization of the Lilongwe meetings was done by the young water professionals of the Lilongwe Water Board with financial support from a number of companies and organizations, which included Kato Holdings, which is a Malawian-owned company based in South Africa, Wonder Kid of Kenya, Sour Group, Martinique Enterprises, Petrosil Limited, Greg Hardware, Anderson Engineering, as well as Nation Publications Limited, NPL, who provided free advertising space, and the Malawi Broadcasting Corporation, MBC, which also provided free airtime. After four days of banging heads and gluing work to ensure that portable water is available all the time for all, the delegates on the fifth day had to take their time off to visit the beautiful Lake Malawi in Salima. Thereafter, it was the end of it all. The foreign delegates had to take leave of the country back to their respective countries.